it comes to the vast world of the digital age where information is free to move around, cryptography stands guard. Hello and welcome to this video where we will discuss what is encryption. Using encryption to protect our privacy, the bad things about cryptography, how spies use cryptography to communicate, and what's going to happen next. Today we're going on a secret adventure to learn about how cryptography has changed the way we talk to each other, from old ciphers to the encrypted worlds of the day. As people have grown, so has their need for safe contact. Cryptography has its roots in simple substitution ciphers, which were used by old people to hide messages from prying eyes. These early methods paved the way for the complex encryption algorithms that keep our online chats safe now. Cryptography is the very old art of keeping messages safe, it tells its story in the quiet areas of history. Julius Caesar is said to have invented the Caesar cipher, a way to code that required moving each letter of the alphabet by a certain number of spaces. Even though it's simple, it shows the first attempts to hide information. After many years during World War II, the famous Enigma machine showed how important it is to come up with a new cryptography idea. The Germans used the machine to jumble messages in ways that didn't seem possible to figure out. The Allies' attempts to decrypt Enigma encrypted messages, led by people like Alan Turing, showed how important cryptography is from a military strategy point of view. Now that we live in the digital world, encryption is an important part of our daily lives. To keep data safe, modern encryption methods like the Advanced Encryption Standard, AES, uses complicated math functions. These algorithms make the safe lines of communication we use for things like online banking, messaging, and private transactions possible. At its core, cryptography is the process of keeping information safe by changing it into a code that only people who know how to decipher it can read. Multiple fields of mathematics, computer science, and information technology work together to protect the privacy, integrity, and validity of data. Cryptography has been an important part of human history, from the Caesar ciphers to current encryption methods like RSA. It has kept our secrets safe and allowed us to communicate securely. Cryptography is an important part of safety, because it keeps data safe and prevents people from getting to it without permission. Cyber attacks and data breaches are becoming more common, so strong encryption methods are needed to keep private and sensitive data safe. Cryptography protects information by encrypting it. If an attacker gets its hands on the encrypted data, they won't be able to decode it without the right decryption key. It's very important to do this when doing delicate things online, like banking, shopping, and other businesses. Today, when everything is protected, privacy is very important. It's all about pretty good privacy, PGP, a strong protector of modern communication. Phil Zimmerman, who made PGP, dreamed of a world where people could talk to each other safely without worrying about being spied on. Public key cryptography is what PGP is based on. Each user has two keys, a public key that other users can use to secure messages and a private key that only they can use to decrypt messages sent to them. Since PGP phones were made to keep things secret, people who value their privacy in a world where everything is linked use them all the time. End-to-end -end encryption is used by these devices to make sure that only the intended receiver can read the messages. People who support privacy say that the right to safe contact is an important part of individual freedom. Encryption keeps hackers and other bad people from seeing your private information in a world full of data breaches and hacks. People can use their right to privacy in this age of digital risk with PGP phones and other similar encrypted communication tools. When it comes to protecting privacy and private data, cryptography takes center stage in the second act. Strong cryptographic systems are more important than ever because technology is changing so quickly and the world is becoming more and more linked. A lot of people, companies, and governments use digital platforms to communicate, do business, and store data. As a result, our personal and private information has become much more vulnerable. Cryptography protects our privacy in the digital world by stopping people who aren't supposed to be there from accessing, intercepting, or changing our data. But encryption has a bad side, just like any other powerful tool. If you want to know more, smash the like button right now and subscribe. Criminals use PGP phones to hide from police observers while carrying out their evil plans over private channels. Message boards that are encrypted have become safe places for illegal activities like drug dealing and planning terrorist attacks. Authorities trying to keep the peace have a hard time with these channels because users can remain secret. The Silk Road, an online market for illegal goods and services, is a well-known example of this. The platform was on the dark web, which could only be reached with certain browsers. 
cryptocurrencies and encrypted communication were used for deals. As the story went on, police forces around the world worked together to catch Ross Erbrick, the brains behind Silk Road. Because private communication makes it harder to investigate crimes, there have been ongoing discussions about how to balance privacy and safety. Authorities say we need to create technologies that will let people legally access protected data without putting the system's security at risk. People who care about privacy, on the other hand, say that these backdoors are dangerous because bad people could use them to break security. A security hole could be made in this, and people's information could be put at risk. In secret, countries use very complex encryption methods. It looks like Russia's offline method, which is a dance of two sets of numbers, is very secretive at the highest level of power. Messages are encoded and decoded using carefully guarded numerical patterns. The process is like a digital ballet. A swap of keys can happen in a controlled separate space, which adds an extra layer of security to this offline encryption. The arms race between encrypting and decrypting is always going on between government agencies around the world. The information that leakers like Edward Snowden has given us about the extensive surveillance programs that intelligence agencies use has put light on these programs. The goal of these programs was to listen in on and read a lot of global conversation, often by getting around encryption in different ways. As people learn more about the surveillance system, states work to improve their own encryption methods at the same time. The delicate dance between privacy supporters and intelligence agencies goes on, with both sides adapting to how digital communication is changing. But as with any two-edged sword, there are bad things that can happen. Even though criminals who use encrypted channels would be punished, it is still hard for law enforcement to stop these actions. Our world is still being shaped by the moral problems that comes with privacy and security. The ongoing fight between security and privacy affects a lot more than just one case. It goes to the core of our social norms and the fine line we have to walk in the digital age. Our laws and morals need to change as security technologies get better so they can deal with people who try to use the tools that are supposed to protect us in bad ways. In courts all over the world, the battle between the right to privacy and the need to keep the public safe is going on. The legal system has a hard time deciding what levels of spying are okay and how much privacy people should have. The choice made here will have effects on society as a whole and will shape our digital future. There are many effects of the ongoing fight between privacy and surveillance. On the one hand, there is no question that the surveillance programs have helped stop terrorist attacks and gather useful information. On the other hand, they have also caused a lot of worry about people's rights to privacy and freedom of speech. When these programs were made public, they caused a lot of debate and legal challenges, which changed the way states do surveillance in big ways. Once a niche interest of mathematics and military planners, encryption is now an important part of our interconnected world. It can be used as both a shield and a sword, saving the weak and giving power to the evil. We need to find a way to balance these two sides, knowing how important privacy is while also being alert for people who might try to take advantage of the privacy gaps that encryption creates. Our next video will educate you more on stuff like this. Do well to subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified when we add new videos. Till next time, stay safe.